Okay, let's see the third task. This one is actually a bit challenging. The previous two were just a piece of cake. Also, let's change the color. It does for fun. Nothing else. Okay, so in this task, what you have to do is the, you have to perform the ls or dir commands of the terminal. So these are two commands, and some of you must be familiar with them. What they do is they both enlist the contents of any directory. That means that if you perform these two commands in any directory, directory and folder, they both are synonyms. So if you write these commands in any, uh, being in any directory or folder, they will display the content of that directory. That whatever is there in it, what files and what folders are there present. They will list the names of those files. And or directories. Okay, what you have to do is you have to perform, you have to implement these two commands and you have to pass the name of directory at runtime. Okay, this is a little bit difficult, passing the name of directory at runtime. It means this, read this. So, the directory you want to see is if, for example, you did the directory you want to see is folder 1 and the name of your C program is this, dot C, then you have to call it like this. You, you may remember the positional parameter thing we did in part 6 of this series. So, this is a little bit dif difficult in C language. You may not do it. First of all, focus on this. After you've done this, then focus on this. Then you may do this. this thing. Okay, let's see how are we going to implement ls or the DIY command. First of all, you have to use these header file, this header file, dirin.h. Of these, this specifier, dirin.h, and you have to use these three functions in it. open directory, read directory, and close directory. So, so far we have been working on files and we have used the system calls open, read, write for files, for opening up files. These calls will open up directories and read directories. That means that it, they will read folders and give you the contents. So, that's actually interesting. Let's see. Okay, these are all the functions that are present in this library, dirin.h, and we have to use only these functions, not these. So just, just forget the rest of them. For this particular task, we just have to use the first three functions. First of all, let's see the first function, which is closed directory. It returns integer, and it takes a particular type of pointer. You can see this, dir pointer. It means it must be its own data type, right? Some, some class or some structure. Okay, moving on. Actually, this one is important, DIR. Second task, second uh, call, open directory. So open directory takes a constant character pointer. What does character pointer tell us? That it must be a path. That means this thing right here is actually a path to the folder. So we will give it the path of that folder that we want to open, we want to read, and then what it will return, it will return a DIR type pointer, which we needed, which we, which we saw right here. Right? Let's change the color of this pointer. It's not really appealing. Let's put that in the room. So, you can see that open directory will take the path of the folder that you want to open, and then it will return a directory type, DIR type point, which we need to close the file. We need it to close the file, and we also need it in the, in the next function. The next function is read directory. So read directory takes, what does it take? It takes a DIR type pointer, which we just got from here, right? And it will return a structure named dirent. So what will happen here is DIR type pointer is returned by open directory. It will be given to the read directory. And read directory function will give us a structure named dirent.h. Now what we have to see is what is dirent.h? Um, not not sorry, 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 sorry. Not dot h, it will return as a structure named dirent. So I mixed it up with this. So we have to see what does what is this dirent structure, right? So let's see it in the next slide. So this structure dirent has these four numbers in it, okay? And what we need is we just need this number from it. 
we are not concerned about the others we just need this what is this this is actually the name of anything any folder any file present in that particular folder which we were reading in that particular directory which we just opened using this call see so we just need this okay um, let's discuss a detailed algorithm step by step algorithm to so that you can do the task more easily okay step number 1 is you have to open up a directory and store its value in a dir type pointer that means you must have to declare a dir type pointer first and then you have to open up a directory the second step is check if that pointer is null that means that directory cannot be opened that something wrong happened if that pointer is null you were not successfully able to open up that directory okay so do check that third step is obviously the read so to read the directory obviously you do have a function which we just discussed read directory and you will read the directory you will store the value in a structure direct in a direct type structure pointer this seems a little bit tough but it's nothing you just just see here this is it this is what is written there a direct a structure direct type pointer okay. it's, it's a little bit complex anyway it's okay so store the value in a direct structure type pointer then write a loop in the fourth step write a loop and display the contents of the directory until that pointer is null the contents of the directory will be accessed by the variable the name that's why i said in this previous slide i said we just need this number so we'll just print it we'll just print this number and we'll get the name of any file or directory present in that folder i know it's going to get complex but to we'll try it and then we'll do another video for the solution of this we'll see it's it's not that tough see you next time